Hey, what's going on, marketers? It's your favorite Glenn from GlennTGallery.com. And I just ran in. Um, I realized that I had a deadline to meet. And I wanted to share something that you can actually do. And the latest post that I'm working on is getting leads with Twitter cards. So if you've never done it before, I'm going to show you how you can do it and make your own card, put it up on Twitter, and start getting leads from it. Now there's a lot of different types of cards that are out there that you can do. You can turn one of your tweets into a Twitter card. Um, you can use a Twitter card that goes directly to your website, um, an e-commerce site. There's nine different types of Twitter cards that you can actually use and two of them actually appear primarily for business and that's the one that is for lead generation or for your website. Now if your website is optimized to collect leads it, it's going to work. Um, but one thing I want to I want to make sure that it's clear is that the different types of cards will do slightly different things and what might work well for me may not work well for your business or something else will just work better. So try them out. Try the Twitter cards. The best thing about Twitter cards and using Twitter cards is that it is native. It is things that stay on the site and Twitter encourages the use of them. So anything that a site encourages use for, you want to try it out and test it how it works for your business. So without further ado, let's switch over to the computer and I'll show you how I'm building a Twitter card so that you can do the same. Okay? I'll see you on the other side. Alright, welcome to the other side. Um, Twitter cards. Now, before we get started, I want to explain a few things. Um, basically, how I got here. Um, I went into my Twitter ads account, and I clicked on right here, I hope you can see it, creatives. And when you click on creatives, you will see a drop-down menu, and it'll say Twitter cards. And you see right here, it still has loaded up the previous card that I had done. But I'm not going to use that one today, um, mainly because I didn't optimize it um, size-wise for the Twitter card. Um, you have three different, three different sizes, and if they don't fit, then you're going to have to crop it. And sometimes when you're cropping your images, it just doesn't work out right. Um, so remember these three sizes for a lead gen card. You want one that is 800 by 200 pixels. A website card is 800 by 320 pixels. And a regular ad um, is 440 by 227 pixels. Once again, that's a lead gen card would be 800 by 200 your website card would be 800 by 320 and a regular uh, card which would be like a summary is going to be 440 by 227 so because I want you to see the whole process I'm going to upload a new image and I'm going to show you how I did it um, just you see in here that this is not really optimized for the 800 by 200 size it's a little bit bigger um, and I'm just not really happy, even though it looks pretty good. Um, right there, that looks pretty good, but i would still, still not really happy. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into Canva, and Canva is awesome. I use Canva all the time. You can do so many things, Facebook posts, presentations, Instagram posts, um, there's so much more on here. There's um, infographics that you can create, um, different types of uh, Pinterest posts. Uh, you can do pins, um, other things for Facebook, and using custom dimensions. Now, I use the custom dimensions that I just mentioned earlier, and I've already pretty much got it done. Um, I just explained that the 
image that you see there, I got that from another site, but Canva does have a, a plethora of great images that you can use, and a lot of them are free. Some of them will cost a dollar. It just depends on what you want. And I already had this image here, so I loaded that up and I put my text in there. And all we really need to do is make sure that it's saved so we can download it. And man, we are rocking and rolling. So as soon as that finished downloads, um, we're going to check it out. If you haven't used Canva yet, get in here, man. It is so awesome. Okay, our design is ready, waiting for the box to pop up. Bam! There it is. Okay, now we want to save the file. Um, is there anything else that I need to do? Is everything there? Doo -doo. Yes. Okay, bam! And it, man, it, things are rolling. Things are rolling. That is a good sign. So, <coughs> excuse me. So what we want to do is we want to double check our image, make sure it downloaded properly. We've got the right one. And, and then we're going to move on. Um, use Canva. If you're a marketer and you're not using Canva, you're missing out. Um, I highly recommend Canva um, wherever you're marketing, whether it's wherever you're doing your social, um, if it's just on your blog, if it's on Pinterest, if it's on Google+, you can create images specifically branded. Oh, yeah, that looks great. Awesome. Specifically mark, um, branded for your brand. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to find that and we're going to upload it. Uh, what was the name? Uh-oh. Oh, that's, that's another tip. Um, usually... And this didn't happen because of my slow internet. But um, usually the first bit of text that you put on an image that you create will be the, the tag or, or the title of that image. Oh, there we are. Still trying to find. Yeah, that's it. So sometimes it may not um, fit right or, or, or be correct. But especially when you want to make sure that you're, um, we'll go ahead and save that. Everything is good. Um, but especially like when you're using, uh, when you're creating images for your post, you want to make sure that the uh, alternate text and, and the actual title matches what your what your uh, what 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 your uh, keyword is. And, uh, man, I'm having. Um, brain lock or brain aneurysm or something. <laughs> I'm missing words. Um, so while that is, is saving, bear with me because sometimes my internet is just really... Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, remember when I was talking about the uh, title. Okay. Now, this is from before. Now, we want to have congruency. You see how it says need to find more? And it says free 500 leads action guide. So we want to change that. We want to make sure that we have a good congruency. Your text should match the image. Um, your ad should match whatever that you're posting. And this is mainly for a good customer experience. So I want to make sure that this closely matches, it's congruent with my ads, um, with my, my card, excuse me. So you see here we've got need to find more leads. And the other one says need to find more leads. Now, next, it shows um, card image, um, and that is to edit the image. But we've already we've already pretty much taken care of that. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on to the next step, which will be our call to action. Now, you want you you don't want to be um, click click me click here. Um, yeah, that works, but hey, everybody does that. And you don't want to be like everybody. So you want to have a, a good, solid call to action that works and something that is not way out of, out of the ordinary. Um, and you know what? Um, I, I think 
I'm thinking that this is going to be a website card instead of a lead gen card, but they're pretty similar, so no worries. I'm going with download now. Now, I caution you to use anything with Twitter to download. And here's why. The majority of Twitter users are mobile users. And uh, when's the last time that you downloaded something onto your phone that wasn't a small image or, or an app or an update? It's just not real convenient, right? So you want to try and avoid, if you can, um, using the, the free downloads because it's just not real convenient for um, your mobile users. And the majority of Twitter users are mobile users. So I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm going to just, we're just going to leave that for now. Um, and we're going to move on to privacy policy, which is the next step. Now, for you affiliates out there, privacy policy. Now, you may not have this for your, for your own site or for your own uh, marketing yet, um, especially if you're an affiliate. But on your company page, down at the bottom, every company's got them. Um, you'll see privacy policy, uh, terms of service, or conditions of use, um, something like that. There's usually three links. So what, what you want to do as an affiliate is you want to click one of those links, um, the privacy policy, on your company page, and you want to copy that URL, and that's what you're going to paste here. Now, remember, you're an affiliate. You never, ever, ever, ever ever, ever, ever want to send your leads directly to your company offer, okay? But putting in the privacy policy is um, it's just good stuff. Now, I have my own, um, yeah, I'm gonna, we're in the back office of glentegillery.com, and I'm going to go into my pages because I have my own um, privacy policy, terms of use, all that, all that, um, legal stuff and you need to have that at some point you're going to want to get that um, maybe I'll do a a training on that I don't know um, hit me up if there's something that you would like to learn about and um, no problem but uh, if there's only one person or, or two two people that that want to know I probably won't do it so what we're going to do um, we're going to capture that URL and you see in right here there's privacy policy a lot of a lot of legal stuff and blah 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 um, we don't share your stuff blah 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 um, at some point you want to get you you just want to get these and one uh, that just reminded me another task I'm gonna have to uh, put this start putting this link on all my uh, on all my pages in my posts um, man it's great that you're here okay now um, let me close this because I, you, I've got slow internet and sometimes it is like racing the snails. I, I seriously, it is bad. Um, I don't know if I want to close this page yet or not. Um, I'm not. I'm not remembering if uh, there's something else that I needed to show you about Canva. Oh yeah, a while back I shared, I did share something about Canva, and it was where I was showing how to get free leads using Snipply. And um, somewhere in there I mentioned Canva, but um, Canva is just is is just awesome. Um, I create my ads with Canva. Um, I I use uh, images for my posts. Um, that I create on Canva. Canva is just great. You can do pin, um, you can do, uh, and you just do all sorts of stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and get that privacy policy pasted in here. Bam, got it. Uh, let's just remove that, and we should be good. Now, you see here it says card details, fallback URL. What the heck is that? Well, that's basically the URL where users can find out more about what you've got going on. So it's a fallback URL. Um, and I do have a, a page or, or post 
Uh oh, um, the brain rhythm is kicking into overdrive, and I don't remember where the heck I have it. And you've probably seen it, but it's a page on my site, and it's kind of like a um, if all else fails, and it's got the bonuses in it, and I'm not seeing it. Either I'm not seeing it or I don't remember, and it's because I've done so many posts since then. And uh, man, maybe it's a maybe it's in the post. Post? Uh, maybe it's a hidden post. Hmm. I can't remember. Sorry. Um. Bear with me. Um. We're experiencing temporary delays. Uh, we will be right with you in a moment. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Um, no, no, no. Uh, those are ones I got to work on. No, no. Uh, bear with me, please. Um, man, where did I hide that? See, this is, this is common for marketing. You've got a lot of things going on. You've got a lot of tasks in your box, and you knock out those tasks in your box, and you move on. But if you do not have a good flow of organization to go back, you may go through what I'm going through right now. <laughs> I, oh, I... Man, I, I was sure I remembered where it was, but um, I'm kind of at a loss right now. Um, and that doesn't happen often. Let me check the pages again and, uh, and see. Hmm. Man, this is... Uh, I'm really feeling bad about this. And, um... Wow. Uh... No, it wouldn't be in there, not in there. Work with me, maybe? Traffic? Hmm. Traffic. Yeah, okay. I think I think maybe this is it. Um or maybe it's in make money products. Let's let's take a look at that. I, I don't think it's in fact, because I just created that one not too long ago. So it's gotta be in the make money products. Yeah. See, you are now witnessing the slow internet. Okay, let's see. Okay, move amendments and goose egg. No, it's not here. Man, that that drives me crazy. So when I finish this video, you know that I am definitely gonna go figure that out and uh, make that pathway. That is driving me crazy right now because uh, I, I thought sure it would be here, but it's not. <laughs> wow. You guys are getting to witness my crazy brain on overdrive because uh, part of my brain is saying you need to find where the heck that is. Okay, I've got a solution. We're going to just type in the the blog as the fallback URL and it's something that uh, we used to do when I was in the army for the purposes of this training uh, we will just simulate <laughs> um, what I'm doing now is uh, I'm going into pretty link and I'm going to pull up my uh, the URL for um, my lead captures. Um, a pretty link is awesome. Um, it in, it's it's a plugin, and you can create your own URLs based on your site. Um, you can track um, clicks, traffic. Um, you you can know your numbers. Um, pretty link is is free. I've got the pro version which allows me to do a few other things. We get reports, I can import, export, um, and other options. It's awesome. Um, 
and I recommend you try it out. Um, I really do. It's been great for my business. I use it all the time. And um, uh, hang on a minute. Okay. Um, my internet had slowed down, so um, I paused real quick, and we are back. Uh, it took a couple of minutes. The full effect, slow internet was on display, and hopefully I, I got enough of that out of there. Um, you always want to double check your links um, when, when you're uh, sharing them or posting them somewhere, just to make sure just to make sure that they're still working and going to the right place because you never know. Ah, it's looking awesome. That is the right page. That is exactly where I want the leads to go. So that is good to go. And we go back and we're going to input that onto our Twitter card. Um, right here where it says destination URLs optional and there's some other things here. You always, always, always want to utilize this destination URL. And for you affiliate marketers, if I haven't mentioned it yet, I want to remind you that as an affiliate marketer, um, I'm going to put in a quick thank you note and where you can contact me. This is what your leads are going to see um, once, they, once they sign up. Um, before you know, be, you know, in route to your your landing page or your website. And I just want to put in here my contact info. But back to you affiliates. Do not send your leads directly to your offers. Do not use the, the marketing words. You want to avoid that. And um, here's why. Well, number one, um, you want... You want your links to go to your services and what you do. You know what I mean? And then you can go to your affiliate offers. You never want to go directly to those affiliate offers. Um, give it a give your card a name that you can remember. Um, yes, I agree. This is the uh, data use policy or terms of service or whatever you want to call it. Make sure you click that. And bam! There you have it. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Well, I like it. What do you think? I would love to hear what you think. I think it looks pretty awesome. Um, anything that we do can always be done better, but don't let that keep you from actually doing things. Getting things uploaded in, in front of people and the improvements you can, you can work on while it's there. Um, you look over on the side, it'll, it'll show that you can edit your card, you can clone the card, you can uh, make a tweet for the card, all of that stuff. And man, it's it, it's really looking really good. I'm pleased with how it came out. And I want you to take action. Put up your own cards. Put don't just don't just put up one because it's not going to be effective. Um, Try a few, test them, see which type works. Um, just because I'm doing a lead generation card doesn't mean that you should not try the other cards that I have listed um, in and talked about in the blog post. Um, I put all that info in there for you to utilize. And you want to go out, you want to take action. If you need help, contact me as always. Um, let me know. Hey, Glenn, I need some help, and uh, I will be there to help you. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. Uh, so this has been Glenn from GlennTGillery.com, your favorite Glenn. <laughs> we will talk soon, marketers. Take care. Um, I hope you got great value from that. Um, we will talk again real soon. Um, I've got a lot of stuff on the uh, on the on the docket or on the on my desk that is waiting to be implemented. Take care. Bye bye.